<laughs> when you're in the dark, and you're afraid, you want to turn on the light. You want to do this because it will dissolve your fears, banish them with the blackness of night. But you're also afraid to turn on the light. If you turn on the light, it could reveal your fears. Or worse, bring to view something even more terrifying than the monsters within the darkest recesses of your imagination. It was night, and I was smoking a cigarette in the stairwell, leading down to the cellar. And it was a cloudy night, one of those new moon kind of nights when you don't even get the light of the stars to see by. And the stairwell was pitch black, aside from the faint glow from the end of my cigarette. There was a light bulb hanging from the ceiling, the kind you could turn on by pulling a chain. But I stayed in the dark because I didn't want to alert anyone to the fact that I was awake and smoking. No, I've never been afraid of the dark, especially in familiar places because I can usually feel my way around. Tonight, though, I had this feeling. It was the kind of sinking feeling you get in your stomach when you know something bad is coming your way. But you don't know what it is. For some reason, this night, I really was afraid of the dark. I kept hearing these scratching sounds from the back part of the stairwell. I kept telling myself it was a squirrel or something, but the scratching wasn't quick or light. It was slow, rhythmic. I told myself it was just the darkness playing tricks on my mind, making me hear things differently, that I should just finish smoking, then go back inside and forget about it. Then. I saw the silver eye. At first, I thought it was just the moonlight's reflection off of the metal pipe, but it was too round, too perfect. There was no moonlight. It had the slitted pupil of a feline or a snake, and I had the creeping feeling that it, whatever it was, was watching me. I told myself I was just being paranoid, but the feeling wouldn't go away. Trying to disregard what I told myself was only a strange reflection. I continued smoking. Soon enough, the silver eye was gone. No. No, it had moved. It was a few feet to the right. And it was closer. The paranoia becoming too great at this point, I decided to turn on the light to prove my fears wrong. It was just a reflection, a trick of the light, nothing more. Slowly, I reached for the bulb, and I pulled the chain. I shouldn't have turned on the light. 